It's the go-to breakfast this morning, y'all. Sausage, egg, and cheese burritos. The fast ones, where you cook the sausage, then you just add the eggs in there, scramble it all up together, add some cheese, put it in a tortilla shell, and then we crisp it up in another pan. You don't have to, but we like them to be a little crispy on the outside. another pretty day out there but also still it's gonna be a little warmer today than it has been the past couple of days that's why I'm not out there cooking these on the Blackstone <laughs> just a little chilly out there I think I hear Manly waking up good morning <laughs> We got a bird in here. Seems like you Happy to. Okay y'all, I got the kitchen cleaned up from breakfast. Now it is time to start the Saturday cleaning routine. This is my little friend. They're putting the doors back up on the back porch today. They've already got this one over here. Very nice, it's the same door, right? I just, I just took the old screen doors and just quickly made these. Yeah, closed in the bottom, screen on the top. The squeak's extra. You want you that want squeak. squeak, it's extra charge. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'm fixing to trim. They ain't none of this trimmed out. So. Mm -hmm. but anyway, I've kind of put that old timey. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I, I'm just now seeing this, y'all. And that looks like Grandma's porch. Well, I kind of I had that, you know, in mind as I'm doing this right here. I wanted it to look like an old farmhouse. So this is what they look like. Mm hmm. You know, the wood's fine. Just, you know, I just spruced them up a little bit. So keep in mind, after I get it trimmed out, you know, this is the way she's going to look. Yeah. This porch is not exactly perfectly plumb, and I, I didn't have a jack to jack this thing up. Like, yeah, see, you know, what we want to do, y'all, the house is already about 50-something I mean, years know, old. And like I said, I we want to make it look 100 years old. That's what we're trying, trying to... make it look 170. Yeah. But anyway, that's your farmhouse door. Mm-hmm. First, we dust.
I didn't know the neighbor's chickens were here for a visit again. There's their rooster. I'm gonna have to make sure that he gets along with Roosty here. <laughs> Roosty's a lot older than him. I think their rooster's, he's just about a year old, I think. Roosty's getting on up there. I think he's about seven, six or seven. Roosty's like, not today. Let's go, girls. What are they doing, Miss Turkey? All right, y'all, it's a little bit later. We're back inside and it's time to cook supper. It's 425. Pretty sure this will be done by 530. It's a new lasagna. We're gonna call it, I'm making it up. So what can we call it? First, we're gonna cook the ground beef with some Italian sausage. And since I have a pound of Italian sausage, I'm only gonna use a pound of this ground beef. We'll put the other pound in the freezer. And I got this garlic bread this time. Look at this fancy package. Walmart has their garlic bread in. So we just have to heat it for seven to nine minutes in the bag. Okay, you heat it in the bag. So we'll get the ground beef and sausage started here. We have the oven ready lasagna, so we don't have to do any noodle boiling. We are gonna make a homemade sauce though, so we will need the pot for that. Let's call it Blue Ridge lasagna. That'll be good. We're right here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, Blue Ridge lasagna. So we got the onion chopped up. Now we'll chop up this red bell pepper. When the ground beef and sausage is done, we'll add these in here with that. As soon as we get this chopped, we'll go ahead and start the sauce. Okay, let's get a pot. So for the sauce, we have two 29 ounce cans of tomato sauce. Pour both of these in. I'll go ahead and turn it on to in between medium and low. Yeah, and I got out another small can, but I think these two will be enough. Oh, you know, we could call it mountain meatball lasagna. I mean, even though I'm not making these into meatballs, we are using this Kinder's meatball seasoning. Italian meatballs with garlic and herbs. We're about to put this right in the sauce with a one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. And I am gonna drain these. Put those right in. Yeah, that's the name, y'all. Mountain meatball lasagna. We'll stir that all around. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of sugar. And I think that's gonna be good on our sauce, that seasoning packet. I think that's gonna be enough. We won't have to add any other stuff in there. We'll taste it and see. We'll let it start to simmer. And I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. The ground beef and sausage is almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the onions and peppers now. We'll put a little salt and pepper over here with the meat. I am gonna leave some bigger pieces, so it could be almost like little meatballs in there, see, like that. While this stuff is finishing up over here, we gotta shred some cheese. We've got mozzarella and pepper jack and ricotta cheese, and I need a couple of eggs. The sauce taste tester is here. Tell me what you think, if it needs anything else. Really good. Does it need anything? Great. Okay. We got mozzarella and pepper jack. Do you like both of those kind? I kind of like the yellow kind. You like the yellow kind? Yeah. What about how we go with the yellow jack? No, it's not yellow. <laughs> cheddar, you like cheddar. Yeah, I do. <laughs> You like mozzarella too, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's gonna be enough mozzarella. We're gonna go to the pepper jack now. Okay, so we're gonna take just enough of this cheese to put on top, put the rest of it in this bowl. We love this part, y'all. Go ahead, Sissy. Beautiful. <laughs> Two eggs. Oh, that was a whole 16, uh, 15 ounce carton of ricotta cheese. Just a little bit of Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon since we have that meatball seasoning in the sauce, and some crushed red pepper flakes. Okay, back over here to the sauce. We're gonna start adding in the meat. Okay, we're ready to start layering lasagna. We're just brushing a little olive oil onto the pan because y'all, I keep forgetting to get some cooking spray. <laughs> we start with just a little bit of the meat mixture on the bottom. I'm gonna put down some lasagna noodles. Now we're gonna put half of our 
cheese mixture on here. I'm going to spread this around. Now the meat mixture. It looks like we're going to have some uh, leftover meat mixture, but that'll be fine. And we repeat. And we finish off with the cheese for the top. We're going to cover it. And I'm going to put a baking sheet up under it because... I don't want it to overflow in the oven, but we're gonna cover it and it's gonna bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. I'm spreading just a little bit of oil on my oil rhymes. I'm putting just a little bit of olive oil on here. You could of course use cooking spray if you have that, but that'll keep the cheese from sticking to the foil so much while it's in the oven. You gotta let lasagna cool for like an hour before you can get one of those really good pieces. Mm hmm. Really good. Different? Yeah, it's good. It's got a good taste. It's great. Okay, y'all. I already got the kitchen cleaned up, got the leftovers packed up. That's all that's left. And paint time and fixing time. Paint and fixing time, apparently, for mainly. <laughs> no, for daddy. Oh, for daddy, yeah. Anyway, this was wonderful y'all i i'm thinking it was probably our favorite lasagna ever and i'm going to give credit where credit is due and that is to that italian meatball seasoning that went into that sauce it was wonderful <laughs> most of the time we have way more lasagna left over than this like even people who lasagna is not their favorite went back for seconds with this one so there's enough left for a few people for lunch tomorrow in there but yeah when we want lasagna again we'll be making this one Brazilian lemonade yeah. is happening again. We're actually going to use a lemon in it this time because we just have these two limes and this one's looking kind of, I'm not sure what's going on with him, but uh, we're going to make it actually with lemon. If y'all missed the it Brazilian, good. it does smell good. If y'all missed that video, I'll link it down below. Manly's in here telling us all about how good it is, right? Yeah. The only way I would like milkshakes because they taste really good, so I just get vanilla. Yeah. He just gets vanilla milkshakes. You do, buddy? Yeah. The other night, we didn't have any more limes here, but me and Titus were in here. We're always in here late and we come up with these ideas of things to do. So we decided to try to make the Brazilian lemonade, but instead with an orange. So it was like a Brazilian orange aid. Well, I told him, I was like, look, I can, I can make that faster than you. Cause he was like, you don't gotta worry about it. And I was like, I can make it faster. And it won't make such a mess because, you know, he makes a little bit of a mess when he does things sometimes. <laughs> but I was all like, watch me do this. Y'all, I made, she made it. it quickly. I made it quickly, but I forgot to strain it. She made it so fast that I looked over and I was like, my goodness, she did make that thing faster without me. I forgot to strain it. So It was pulpy. It, but it was slushy. It was good. You it can't say it wasn't good. Slushy. But it was good, wasn't it? It was. It was like an orange creamsicle slushy, and it was really good. So um, I would say do that. I would make that orange creamsicle slushy again. The kids would really like that because that 
I mean, it, it was really good. It is not easy to peel okay. a lime, everybody, but if you want to get the bitter, uh, I told I told y'all this before, and some people might have missed it, but this is a dull knife right here. <laughs> uh, you want to get the bitter, you got to get all that off right there. You get all that stuff off. I did off. that with the oranges and everything too, y'all, and I was all proud of myself, and then I was like, I was all proud of you. Look, I said I put too much ice. Remember when I first yeah, came Yeah, when she came over, she was like, I think I put too much ice, and I was like, baby, you didn't strain it, girl. <laughs> Oh, that was get good. back. But it was good. Trying something new on me. Well, From it. Listen, y'all y'all don't know this right here, but we're gonna share I'm gonna share this right now with you. When we drank these things, we drank them slow. Oh yeah. We sat around and look at each other. Savor the sips. And just sip easy. And mm -hmm. then we stir it a little bit and set it back down because there's a lot of laboring making this thing you, right. and you like eat you know, it's so good, but you don't want you, you don't want to get done with it too quick. Y'all, if Around here, I've never, I mean, I've been living here my whole life, almost half of a hundred years. Baby, don't say it like that. <laughs> don't say it like that, baby. It gets me nervous. <laughs> yeah, look, I've never heard Ooh. of Brazilian lemonade, and I've been to festivals and fairs, and I'm telling you, if we opened a Brazilian lemonade stand, I mean. And made Brazilian food and gave them a Brazilian milkshake. If we, I'm, Folks, I'm serious. we'd have more money than we got eggs. I'm serious. If we sold Brazilian lemonade, I think it would do really good. But to avoid temptation in our life from being wealthy, we're going to stay poor. <laughs> we're not going to open up the Brazilian lemonade stand. I want to open a Brazilian lemonade stand. No, baby. We're not going to get rich. Look, we talked about it that one night. That we could, could lead we could us do, astray, baby. We could do different flavors. We got to stay poor. We were, <laughs> we were like, we could do... Lime and actual lemon. Folks that get money. Orange. We gotta stay on the level we at right now. Even so we strawberry. Don't get led astray, babe. I think strawberry would even work. I mean, you could do different no, flavors, you know. The first month in that lemonade this bubble stand, tea I'd have stuff. gold all over me. This. <laughs> I'd go out and catch a cow with a gold rope. And I'd be like, this is not right. This is not right. Listen, we ain't gonna do that, folks. Look, we're gonna keep it where we are. But then I really level. started thinking about because sweet and condensed milk ain't cheap. So I started thinking about would we really even make any money? Right. Or not really. Just our wildest dreams. Y'all, our other children, including the old ones. All of them's out there jumping on, on the, the trampoline. trampoline. Look, we found moon. we found a trampoline was on sale at Walmart for just $200, normally almost 400 If they still have it on sale, I'll link it down below for y'all. Folks, we almost forgot to put the yes. zest in this bad boy, and that would have been bad. Right, you gotta have the zest in there. Put it all in there, Mom. 